Well guys, it's official. I'm officially a Prime Wealth fanboy. New toys. Welcome back to the shop today, guys. Happy to have you here. It's been a while since I've had a video out. And uh, Merry Christmas to you. It's uh, about that time of year. I'm gonna apologize already for the noise. I've got my cannon heater going, because it is cold outside and in here. So, I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a shop update. Uh, we've been working a little bit on the Bronco. And just a heads up, I'm probably not gonna be doing a lot of videos about the Bronco. I'll keep you updated. And if there's something that pops up that's worth making a video of, I'll make a video of. So, unless you guys want me to video more of that, let me know. Talk to me in the comments, boys. Mainly, this video will be about my new Prime Weld toy. But first, I want to give you a little bit more of a, a little bit more of an update. Our plasma cutter in the back corner there, uh, it failed on me. Uh, not the machine itself, the plasma cutter that I got for a sweet deal that was built in the 1800s failed yeah but what can you get I mean I paid very minimal for it and it got me through setting up the machine and that's all fine and dandy but for now excuse the mess I was trying to figure out how to fix it but and if that doesn't turn you on to what's in that new prime weld box I don't know what will but I got the Prime Weld Cut 65. So I'm gonna open up this bad boy and we'll see what's inside. All right, boys, I'm gonna apologize again for the noise. Just bear with me, I'm cold still. But uh, the Prime Weld Cut 60, I uh, realized in the, the clip before this, I said 65, it is a 60. Uh, but uh, this is the unit, and you know what? This isn't gonna be a review, guys, because there are so many people out on YouTube that have done a great job making videos of this thing cutting. I think it kind of speaks for itself. And uh, I didn't even know Prime Weld made plasma cutters. Uh, only after I started digging into the TIG welder that we purchased, and if you want to see that video, I'll have that up somewhere here. Um, but you know, I've I've seen guys put this head to head with some name brand stuff and other cheap ones, and this really seems to be the best bang for your buck. Saw a guy do half inch clean with this stuff. Uh, that was very impressive. Uh, he even went through three quarter, not very cleanly, but he did go through it. So, I mean, if I wanted to do some bigger stuff, I can. I don't see myself needing to go uh, bigger than half inch. Quarter inch is kind of what I'm looking for mainly. But if I have the opportunity, why not? So, really excited about this machine. And uh, I live in Canada, so it was a little bit more expensive than if you were to purchase this in the States. Uh, I think they offer free shipping in the States. I had to pay shipping and duty and for the machine and then convert that into Canadian funds. So I think I'm just, just above $1,100. But plasma cutter of this kind of power, I think that is still a good deal. Uh, a lot of people refer to it as the best sub thousand dollar machine. And I'm sure they're right, but for me, it's not sub thousand dollars. That's okay, it's still a good deal. And I've had really good luck with the Primewell TIG, so I'm happy to add this to the arsenal and I'm hoping that it'll make my uh, CNC machine that much better. So I'm gonna open these boxes, I'll lay some stuff out, and we'll take a look at it. Another thing I wanted to note, and everybody notes this, but they do have the nice steel corners on the shipping box. Everything is well wrapped in this foam. This stuff ain't getting damaged on its way to you, boys. So, yeah, they do a good job there. I know everyone praises them in their packaging keep it up prime weld but i'm gonna open this stuff up and we'll take a look at what we got all right box number one torch got a little bit extra consumables here just one set 
I wish I'd throw some more in there, but that's all right. A little tool to change them out. But you don't need that tool. Just grab a pair of vice grips, boys. This is the IPT60 torch. I would like to tell you that this is an amazing torch, but I don't know. Uh, this is only the second plasma cutter I've ever owned. And uh, the other one was 75 bucks. So I'm assuming this will be an upgrade from what I have now. And I found out with that old hypertherm torch, I can't find consumables very easily. This torch is used a lot in a lot of different companies. So I think finding consumables will be a lot easier. Might not be name brand consumables, but so far I'm just looking for something that cuts. It's got the, what I'm told is the Euro style torch connector where it screws in. Love that. So one day I can buy a machine torch for this uh, machine and then I can take this torch off and still use this portably. So that's pretty cool. So that's all that's in box one. Close this up here. Box number two. They even have number points. We got our family and friends mask. If you want to know how I real feel about these, you can go to my uh, TIG welding video. CNC plug, this is the male end, I do believe, yep. So that's one of the reasons I wanted this machine is to be CNC ready. We got our pigtail to run on 120. Lucky for me, I don't have to do that. And our ground, this is the same ground by the looks of it, actually. Pretty sure it's the exact same ground they use on their uh, TIG 225. And it's a DINS connector. But this cord is a little bit lighter. Smaller DINS. But, nice ground clamp, regular ground clamp. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you how awesome it is because a ground clamp is a ground clamp. Ground clamp, guys. There are some nicer ones, I guess. But really, for me, if my holding the ground I don't care what it looks like or how it feels as long as it grounds I don't know why everyone gets so technical on stuff like that and the machine itself uh, shipping weight shipping weight on the packing slip was 50 pounds and that was with everything and I mean it feels about right I mean shipping companies if they are curious they remit we re reweigh it anyway man I can't talk today it's that cold in here uh, so what do we got we got our air set 2T and 4T. Forget which one's which, but one's, I think you uh, hold the trigger and you click it on and click it off, and then the other one is on, off. Does that make sense? If not, we'll figure it out. Uh, post airflow, so that must be the cooling air that runs through it once the arc is extinguished. And then this must be our amps or volts volts so that's really neat air pressure regulator not much to it boys our plug wired up here air intake same type of breaker switch that's on the tig and our cnc port which is what i'm looking for so i am going to strip the old torch off my machine and I'm sure there's some wiring that I'll have to do. And uh, hopefully we'll get this set up and uh, we'll do a test cut with it. See how she goes.
Okay, so I got the machine hooked up, plugged in, ready to go. I didn't film all of it because it's quite boring. Uh, cable tracks are very nice until you have to replace cables all the way through. That kind of sucked and it was pretty time consuming. But I got everything hooked up here. I got it off to the side here, not underneath like I have my other one. Basically for the fact of usability, if I wanted to take it off and use it somewhere else. However, until I, until I get another torch, I'm not really going to be doing that. But I like it here better, more access to it, a little bit further away from electronics, etc, etc. And that's just what I'm going to do, so we're going to deal with that. Uh, I looked over some settings. I'm going to change the sheet metal here. I'm going to put a piece of scrap on here, and I'm going to do our little smiley face test that we did one of our first cuts with. And that way, we can see if this thing works. Yeah, and I'll also check torch on, torch off kind of stuff. Do all a little routine check to make sure that I got this thing wired right. Uh, and then we'll do a test cut, so stick with me here, guys. So I'm having a little bit of issues. Let's see if I got them worked out. I'm just gonna try cutting that smiley face out again. And let's see what happens. Wondering if I got something wonky with my air supply, but uh, we'll see what happens. And we'll go cycle start. Why did it work? Why did it stop there? Huh. I'll be right back, boys. Okay, so I've spent multiple hours trying to figure this thing out. And if you saw what it did, is once I hit cycle start, the torch would move to its first pierce fire and then stop and it would not go anywhere now this is a little bit of a shout out to any of you home hobbyist cnc makers out there does the arc okay signal have anything to do with this i read a little bit about that my old plasma did not seem to need anything it just needed a trigger and i assumed that that's all i would bare necessities would be on this take uh sorry plasma cutter so, I'm not sure what's going on. I think there's something going on in my wiring that I need to figure out. But, get this, I also found out that my plasma cutter is faulty. I, uh, be doing all this testing and stuff, I unplugged everything from the CNC off of the plasma torch, and I was going to try using the torch manually, uh, Something is terribly wrong. It uh, If I turn the switch on on the plasma cutter, the torch automatically fires. So I don't know how that works. But uh, that's what it was doing. And whether I'm on 2T, 4T, whatever. Uh, on 4T, it actually turns on, off, on, off, on, off. Without me touching anything of the plasma cutter. So something went really wonky in the plasma cutter. Uh, I emailed Prime Weld. Uh, this is the day after Christmas right now. And uh, those guys, when you hear people say about good customer service, those are your guys. And I, I'm in customer service for part of my job. I deal with a lot of customers uh, with uh, failures in replacing things, repair. These guys, I shot a, just a generic email not thinking I was going to get a response until the new year. Uh, and I didn't want to call somebody the day after Christmas. That's just ridiculous. But get this, I send that email, they called me. Great guy, uh, Sheen or Gene at Prime Weld. If you ever find this video, shout out to you, man. Love what you do. Uh, we did some uh, diagnosis over the phone. Uh, he told me to check some things, I checked some things. Uh, they're sending me a new unit. So props to them. I mean, it sucks that it doesn't work. That always sucks, but it is a mechanical piece of machinery. You never know. So that's got to be on hold for a while. 
But uh, yeah, like I said, if there's anybody out there who works on this stuff and you kind of saw what had happened there, uh, reach out to me. I could really use some help right now because I am running out of ideas. And if you haven't already noticed about this channel, I'm not a professional. Surprise, right? You probably thought, oh, that guy from Lucky Man Fabrics, he always knows what he's doing. No, I'm a fake it till you make it kind of guy. So anyway, I've faked it and made it as far as this. And now I need help. So if there's somebody out there who can kind of walk me through some steps or something that I should look for, please hit me up, get in touch with me. Uh, find me on Instagram, message me through there in the comments below, whatever you got to do, uh, could really use a hand. So for right now, thanks for stopping by guys. A little bit of a failure, failure video, but hey, I'll give, try giving you the good and the bad. So again, thanks for all of you who've subscribed so far. It's been an awesome year. Really appreciate it. I've loved doing these videos. I know there hasn't been a ton coming out lately. That's basically because I've been trying to get this thing going. But I have some have some projects coming down the pipe. Uh, one, I'll give you a little snap it there. That's coming up for an upcoming project. I don't know how, yeah, after Christmas holidays, I'm basically broke. My kids wanted everything under the sun and I gave them whatever I could. So I got to save up some money to do some more projects. But for right now, I really want to get this thing going because this is going to help me like crazy in upcoming projects. So yeah, if there's somebody out there, get in touch with me. And thanks for stopping by, guys. See you on the next one. See you.